This is the Sergeant Jin Erso from the Black Series 3.75. Fully articulated figure. Comes in this three piece weapon. Figure looks pretty cool. Got this as Argos about two weeks ago. I mean, Asda, sorry. Sergeant Jin Erso, a highly skilled soldier of the Rebel Alliance. Jin Erso is a, an impetuous, defiant warrior eager to bring the battle to the Empire. Jin has little patience for debate with Alliance High Command, enough so that she takes matters into her own hands. European box. So let's get this figure out of the box and have a better look at her. Okay. So, Sergeant Jin Erso, Black Series 3.75. Here's Sergeant Jin Erso, 3.75 Black Series figure in the plastic bubble. So, figure looks quite good. Nice head sculpt, costume. And here's the weapon she comes with, three pieces. So that's pretty cool. Got this for eight quid at Asda. I think the usual price in the UK is about £12. So they've got them on sale. Okay, so that's Jin Erso. Head sculpt's not bad. I can do a comparison with the six inch as well in a minute. Jin Erso. Okay. It's the 3.75 Jin Erso out of the box. Got great articulation. There's the front of the figure. Here's the back of the figure. It's in lovely sculpting in the vest. Good sculpting on the hair, in the costume. Good paint apps. So this is a great Jin Erso figure. Come to the holster. And she looks like she's ready for action. Okay, so the wrists rotate, elbows bend, shoulders pivot up and down and rotate. Head moves, it's on a ball joint. It's not much up and down movement though. Torsos articulated, that's great. Hips can move out. Pretty far, knees bend. That far back. And the ankles. See what the ankles can do. Ankles pivot. So the figure's got great articulation for its size, great sculpting detail. From you can see the little bits of data pads in her or pods or whatever they are in her jacket. A really good figure this. And it can only be bought at Asda in the UK or Walmart in the USA. Here's the weapon she comes with. So I've assembled it, clicks together nicely, looks great. So this is a great figure. So it's a good look at the weapon. Assembled together, three pieces, and then here's Jin. Looks great. The rifle's a bit long for her to hold, she can just about Get, you can just about get her into a two-handed pose, but it looks pretty good once you've done it. Uh, yeah, it looks great. So overall, it's a really good figure. There's her jacket. It looks nice. And yeah, this is a cool figure. I'm not sure she uses the long rifle. I think it was... Um, What's his name that used the long sniper rifle? It's still good that they've included this though, this feature. And yeah, it looks great. Head sculpt's not bad. So yeah, this is a cool figure. Jin Erso, Sergeant Jin Erso, Black Series 3.75. Cool figure. Good. It's a six inch black series Jin Erso with the 3.75 Jin Erso, so you can see the differences and similarities. 
this is a more grey colour where that's a lot more blue. This has more detail, the waistcoat. But this one's pretty good. Remember I had a problem with this one, the knee sort of snapped just below the knee here. The trousers have texturing whereas here the trousers don't have texturing. She's got a greenish, looks like she's got a jacket on whereas this one's just got a blue uh, shirt on, undershirt on. So they're both really cool figures. And you've got more paint detail on the like the belt. You've got little silver there, whereas this is just plain. Holster gun there has a clip on it, whereas this one doesn't. In terms of head sculpt, let's take off a uh, what do we call this? <laughs> Without being politically incorrect. <laughs> So um, I'll take that head scarf off and compare head sculpts better. Okay. So I've taken the six inches head scarf off, and now you can see her the face sculpt compare the two, and you could say which one you prefer. I mean, there's not much really in them. Probably this one's a lot more smoother more doll like whereas this one's a bit more rougher and so maybe looks a bit more slightly more grown up but in terms of sculpting they're pretty similar figures just the scale the size difference so and there's she's the main character in the new movie I mean she's one you want to pick up so both versions are cool also her eyes look a bit more sort of like a Barbie doll whereas these ones are more realistic looking hair shades pretty similar yeah so actually the head sculpt on this one the 3.75 is probably a bit more adult looking but you can see all the detail between the two figures as to which version you want to pick up, it probably most likely you're going to pick up both, especially as the Black Series ones available in s several different packs. So, yeah, let's look at the back of the figures. She, she's got green, sh yellow stripe on the back. But we can see that this waistcoat's more like, like sculpted in a more posed type form whereas this is more straight hanging down to back of the legs ankles and feet this is the bit that is loose which is really unfortunate I mean for, from the back the hair you can see that this has got more sculpting which would be expected with a larger scale but this 3.75 is a great figure so you've got two cool figures here nice she has this little thing there, I wonder if she's got it there, yep she's got it as well cool so yeah this figure she looks more athletic more you know, like she's been working out, whereas this one she's got more svelte or slender form. Yeah. Detailing on the boots is pretty good for both. Yep. So cool. Really nice. Here's the Black Series 3.75 Ginerso with the latest uh, basic Ginerso in the Imperial, what is it? Imperial Sergeant Jinner, so in the Imperial Flight Crew costume. So, just for comparisons with in terms of head sculpt, let me see if I can focus a bit better. 
Here's a better look at the two figures for comparison. They both have those gloves on. About the same height. Maybe the regular figure is more slightly taller. But that only has five points of articulation, whereas this one has multiple parts points of articulation. Heads in terms of head sculpt, both are great. Really like that head sculpt. Love this costume. Cool, cool looking figure. See all the detailing there. And then this figure here. Great. Okay. So two really cool figures. Oh, this is a great figure. Highly recommend this one. It's probably the best 3.75 gin out there. Great sculpt, great articulation. I mean, it's got thigh cuts as well. And yeah, it's a really cool looking figure. Nicely painted, good paint apps, great detailing overall, good articulation as I've said, and lovely detailing on the costume, great head sculpt. Nice. And then the rifle it comes she comes through is great because you can build it into three pieces or just have it as a pistol. It's nicely weathered. And lovely silver colour. This looks really cool. So this is a really good figure. The Jin Urso 3.75 Black Series. Okay. So that's that now. Hopefully I'm going to have time to do the Landau General 3.75. Okay. So now, final look at this great figure. Well, what's good about this series is you can just take them out of the box and put them back in. What a cool looking figure. Gina Urso 3.75 Black Series. Great figure. So if you can find her, especially for a reduced price like £8 or even less, then pick her up. Okay, so cheers, bye.